drop a like on the video in the next 5 seconds if you guys want to dominate with the new best build in NBA 2K22. 23 finishing, 25 shooting, 24 playmaking, 25 defense. These post scores got nothing on me. He can't score. I'm a fade. I'm a fade. I'm just different. This bit. He actually can't guard me. Spin back. Green. Look, those are cookies. Those are cookies. That's too easy. In his face. Green. Oh my god. That's on me. That's on me. Give me that. Come on. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka HD. I feel I am back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, I got y'all once again the best build in NBA 2K22. And just like my two way playmaker on NBA 2K22 current gen, my NBA 2K22 next gen build is actually even better. So I need everybody that's watching this video right now to drop a like on the video if you guys are enjoying NBA 2K22. It could be current gen, next gen, both. It really don't matter if you're enjoying nba 2k22 drop a like on the video right now and you're probably wondering well double h why are you on next gen okay i'm not gonna lie to y'all current gen is a great game next gen is a great game but next gen is actually really 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 addicting and fun this year so i'm gonna be posting both current gen and next gen i'm gonna be hitting legend on both current gen and next gen i'm gonna be winning every event on both current gen and next gen so yeah we better go crazy so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new turn on notice so you don't miss anything and make sure to follow my twitch because i'm gonna start streaming a lot on twitch especially because by the time i I'll post this video my internet should be fixed but anyways yeah this build is going to be absolutely insane in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys the jump shot the dribble moves the dunk animations i use on this build how to create this build and some gameplay on why this build is the best build in nba 2k22 so let's go ahead and get straight into the gameplay okay y'all so here is some gameplay of my 6-6 iso build well, once again i'm going to show you guys how to make the build i'm going to show you guys my animations my jump shot my baddies and all that stuff but yeah here's some defensive clips most of these clips i have like almost no baddies i'm like a 90 overall nothing crazy but yeah i'll be getting hella steals hella blocks like i just blocked his jump shot without jumping like i'm telling you this build is crazy it is a menace to society on defense and you guys are going to see it now all this gameplay is in the 1v1 match matchmaking event on nba 2k22 next gen uh and yeah it's basically like 1v1 rush but anyways i feel like 1v1 shows the best gameplay of a build especially an iso build so yeah look at the defense on this build like it's actually crazy like, i'm getting blocks i'm getting steals i'm getting all kinds of good tests these dudes are getting cold they literally can't do every anything i'm literally pressuring them from the three getting chases getting blocks even a post score can't even pull he can't even score on me either look at this i'm telling you no build can hold me on this game i'm getting steals i'm getting all kinds of plugs look at this game right here i get a block right here that's one block right this dude's still struggling to score look at look at i'm chasing him two blocks okay let's let's count the blocks here right this is just one game i'm playing the same dude right he's driving the basket three blocks okay going again four blocks <laughs> five blocks like bro, this is the same game too he's gotta throw something up at the end of the shot clock because i was clamping him six blocks look at, at the end of the game i had seven blocks in one game bro come on man look at one steal we going all the way with it i'm telling you i know like the steals are pretty overpowered in action look at the animations i'm getting from the chase downs by the way but i know when to click if you know when to click x it's actually crazy how many steals you can actually get look at this game i had three steals in one 1v1 game as well um this game right here i was going crazy on defense you see the pluck animation easy dunk i got the best dunk packages on 2k22 another block it's like bro nobody can score on me it's actually insane how good the defense is and the shooting is crazy too yes this build gets an 80 point three pointer i can fade i can green standings i can do step backs look at he's jumping i'm so confident with it i'm running back out to the three and we waving goodbye yes that green animation is my favorite green animation in the game I i'm you be moving fast with this build too this build is very tall six six very nice height bro and look at me look at me this dude can't go he can't hold me come on where he going spin back green oh my god this build is too tough y'all I'm telling you, this build is too tough. It, it, look at You can't hold me, bro. They can't guard me. I shoot very consistent on this build. Like I said, this build is basically my two-way playmaker, but taller 
and a better shooter look i'm shooting perfect from the three right there i'm shooting perfect and this is consistent too it's not like one game i'm gonna go five for five and the next game i'm gonna go one for six like no i'm gonna shoot consistent i'm gonna make my way to the hall of fame sniper i'm gonna shoot greens this jump shot is very easy i'm gonna show you guys the jump shot at the end of the video look at i'm shooting five for five from three that game as well and it doesn't stop there either this dude jumping i'm going back to the three green like i'm hunting for threes on the one score i'm not looking for twos you know if they get to give me the two and hug the three then then i'll take the two but this build is so good at shooting that i'm literally hunting for threes on a, on the ones look at six for seven for a three six for seven i'm shooting seven three pointers in a 1v1 game look at, i'm shooting contested over this high level right here i'm going to the corner big whites hall of fame sniper be going crazy with this build spin back oh my god put him in a blender no this build is crazy i'm fading too i'm literally fading with this build man fading i'm seven for eight from three who shoots eight threes in a 1v1 game let me know <laughs> this build is just i'm too confident with this build because the the shooting is actually crazy the driving is crazy too you get all the content dunks but yeah this build is absolutely insane let's go show you exactly how to make this build so now that I've shown some gameplay, we're going to show you guys exactly how to make this build. Now, before we actually go into make the build, there's something that you're going to want to do in your settings. And this helps to make your build a little taller. It's a little trick that some people do that I'm going to start doing because I should have really done this a long time ago. But anyways, you're going to want to go to the main menus, go to settings, and you're going to want to scroll down and go to units of measurement. Now, it should be on Imperial for most of you. Put it on the metric system if you're already on the metric system based on where you live or whatever just make sure it's on the metric system because that's actually going to give you a couple extra you know centimeters you know a half inch to your player that you know and it's not going to affect any of your stats as well but anyways let's go on to the build that now that we have the metric system okay so you're going to start with position go shooting guard that is the best position to go with hand this does not matter it's all you know preference jersey number y'all know i'm going number one for d rose but this is where it starts to get interesting now if you go to 1.99 this is going to be about 6'6", but just a little taller than 6'6". It's going to be like 6'6", you know, and three quarters type. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be a little taller than 6'6", but you're not going to get the punishment for being taller for 6'6", if that makes sense. Anyways, this is about 6'6", six and then the weight, we're going to go 81 kilograms, which is minimum weight. And then wingspan, we're going to go max wingspan right here so yeah we go in long wingspan six six we gonna be fast too now body shape you can go with compact or whatever it really doesn't matter now you might be wondering okay why go six six and not like six five six four this is supposed to be like an iso build right so basically what this build is going to remind me of is my 2k 20 perimeter lock that was 6 6 now 6 5 you could go 6 5 get the little faster speed but with 6 6 your defense is going to be way better you're still going to have really good um dribble moves you're still going to have a good three pointer you're going to get all the contact dunks and you're still going to be fast and be able to do all those fast dribble moves now if you want to unlock more of those dribble moves, you may as well just go 6 4 so i just go 6 4 6 6 there's no really point of going 6 5 because at 6 4 you unlock those dribble moves and at 6.5, you may as well just bump it up to 6.6 to be taller or whatever. Anyways, so we're going to go to the next screen. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Now, my badges are crazy with this build. So, y'all make sure to pay attention right quick. Okay, so we're going to start by going with a 92 driving dunk. Now, with a 92 driving dunk, we're going to get every single contact dunk that is available to us. So, we're going to unlock all the contact dunks. Now, to make sure we unlock all those content dunks, we have to have an 85 vertical to unlock all those animations. So we're gonna put the vertical to an 85 right quick. And now we're going to move on to our mid range. We're not done with finishing, by the way. I'm just doing this one step at a time, okay? So mid range, we're gonna, actually no, we're gonna max the three pointer first, which is gonna give us an 83 pointer. Uh, ball handle, we're gonna max the ball handle. We're gonna max the speed with ball. And then perimeter defense, we're going to go to a 94 perimeter defense. And by the way, I'm not done with my shooting playmaking. We're finishing. So I'm, I'm already knowing y'all saying, oh, 25 pack, pass accuracy. I'm not done. I'm not done. 94 perimeter defense. That's going to give us Hall of Fame clamps. A 90 steal, which is actually going to give us Hall of Fame interceptor. And then an 80 block, which is going to give us gold chase and silver rim. That's very important. Make sure you max this block. 
speed max acceleration max stamina we're actually going to go to a 92 because you don't really need anything above a 92 92 is good enough and now we have 16 finishing 18 shooting 19 pumping and 21 defense so so far this is actually really well rounded and we're only in 91 overall so we got a lot to go so obviously we need a pass accuracy now in this game if you guys don't know bullet passes one is the most one of the most important badges so you want a pass accuracy of at least 70 or 85 to get silver or gold bullet i'm gonna go with a 70 i've tried silver bullet it's good enough especially i'm gonna be playing ones a lot too and you don't need bullet pass on the ones so we're gonna go with a 70 pass accuracy and that's it for playmaking we're gonna get 24 playmaking badges um now with the mid range now i'm gonna also show you guys something right here unless you're a wreck or pro am player you don't need free throw because look at it's not gonna give us any extra badges and it's, it literally doesn't do anything so it's not like anything crazy you need to upgrade with a free throw it's not really important if you don't play fives anyways mid-range you're gonna want to put this all the way to at least an 83 to get gold hot to hunter but i'm gonna push it to an 84 to get that extra shooting badge which is gonna give me 25 shooting badges now moving on back to the driving as you can see our physicals look fine our defense is already good enough in my opinion we don't really need rebound chaser worm post lockdown box or brick wall which is the only defensive badges we don't get and basically everything else is silver gold or you know hall of fame most hall of fame you know what i'm saying so we're chilling over on the defense playmaking is more than good enough um by the way you're not gonna be able to get hall of fame quick first step but you don't really need hall of fame gold is fine and yes silver and pluggable is good enough with this build i've been playing with this build i have very good win percent on this build i don't be getting ripped a crazy amount like y'all might think shooting badges looking great we get gold hot zone we get a hall of fame sniper most important badge of the game silver blinders is a, well trust me bronze blinders is good enough after the recent patch patching blinders um yeah shooting badges is great and then finishing we already have hall of fame limitless takeoff but you know we got 25 shooting 25 24 playing in 21 defense so let's add to the finishing and let's just see how far we can get this to so i'm going to actually put it to an 83 which is going to give us 22 shooting or i mean 22 driving if i go to an 84 it doesn't give me anything but if i go plus one on the driving layup we get a 23rd finishing badge and look at this build now 23 finishing 25 shooting 24 playmaking and 21 defense now you might be wondering yourself double H, how can this get more well-rounded well not only that with the last you could do you like you can like i don't know if you want to get a 29 free throw or you want to get a 26 interior you can do that or if you want to get a 26 strength you can do that but i'm just going to do a 93 stamina that's what we're gonna do and that's going to be the end of the build but wait you're probably thinking like i said 21 defense that's the lowest the badges it's actually not look at this screenshot right here i got 23 finishing 25 shooting 24 playing and 25 defense yes i purposely went a little less defensive badges on this build because if you go to college go to texas tech win the ncaa championship and if you're about to lose a game just dashboard and replay it and just win those six games and you get plus four defensive badges so now this build's gonna have 23 finishing 25 shooting 24 playmaking and 25 defense that's crazy that is literally 97 badges this is the most well-rounded build in the game and you get crazy badges like gold poster hall of fame limitless takeoff hall of fame sniper gold hot zone you get gold quick first step gold quick jank gold handles for days you get silver bullet hall of fame interceptor hall of fame clamps freaking gold menace gold pickpocket gold chase silver rim hall of fame pogo this this build is insane okay it can literally do it all anyways we're gonna go to the next screen and our primary takeover now i've been messing with a lot of these takeovers you can put on ankle breaker shots if you want ankle breakers you can put on uh finishing moves if you want more poster risers you can put them on limitless range if you want to shoot from half court but extreme clamps is actually crazy like this takeover gives me so many blocks so many steals so many bumps oh my god extreme clamps is like the best takeover in this game besides like maybe Lim limitless rage in my opinion the second takeover i'm gonna go with spot up and these are gonna be my two takeovers right here we're gonna go ahead and finish the build and that is going to give us the two-way slashing shot creator this build is actually a huge w i'm gonna show you guys all the dunk packages all the drill moves the jump shot i use with this build but yeah one a couple more tips before i go on to that make sure you go to college go to texas tech get the plus four defensive badges make sure you go to the g league as well get your plus five percent of your my points boost so you can grind this build out a little faster 
and make sure you do your Chris Brickley drill so you can get the accelerator perk, which is like takeover boosters, so you can get those two takeovers really fast in your park and stage games. But yeah, let's get on to the animations. All right, so we are in this city. I'm going to show you guys um, the animations I have now really quick. As you can see, I've been going crazy with this build, clearly. I'm a level 31 on next gen. I'm a level 34 on current gen. But look at I'm already GOAT tier if you know what that means. I mean, if you don't know what that means, then you don't play next gen. But on uh, next gen, if you know what GOAT tier is, you know that if you're at GOAT tier, you've been going crazy. Um, besides the fact that air codes, you've been getting air codes. But air codes are patched now. But anyways, I don't know why I'm going to my quest. We're going to show you guys... Um, what I'm at right now, I'm at a 95 overall. This is what I have upgraded as first. Yeah, I would upgrade the three, the, the playmaking, and the, and the physicals first, if that's what you're first upgrading. Maybe even the driving dunk when you first make the build. But anyways, these are the baddies I have right now. I only have 10 finishing, 20 shooting, 24 flipping, and 23 defense unlocked right now. So this is what I'm running at the moment. When I'm maxed out, I'm definitely going to max out Limitless Takeover, Post Riser, um, maybe even Slithery or Unstrippable. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter for me. Fast Twitch is actually a good badge, too. I'll probably put that on gold. But yeah, as long as I have Limitless Takeover and Posterizer and Max, I'm going to be fine. These are the shooting badges I'm running right now. I'm actually going to put Blinders down to Bronze um, and put, let's see, Clutch Shooter on Silver. Um, so yeah, I have Hall of Fame Sniper. That's a must-have badge. Silver Stop and Pop must-have. Um, when they fix Limitless Spot, I'm going to max that out as well. Silver uh, Chef, we got Silver Clutch Shooter, Silver Hot Zone. When I get my mid-range max, I'm going to put on Gold Hot Zone. Uh, bronze Lucky 7 is a huge W badge. Same with Bronze Blinders. They give you a huge, huge boost to your green window. I'm probably going to put on Deadeye as well. Uh, green Machine Bronze is good enough. Other than that, I don't really need much else. Maybe I'll test out difficult shots when I get my shooting badges max, but we'll see. Playmaking badges, this is when I'm on the ones court now. Um, I have gold handles for days, gold space, bronze tight, gold quick first step, silver unpluckable, gold quick chain, and silver ankle burger. Now, when I'm on the twos, I'll take off, you know, uh, what's it called? I'll take off space crater, put on bullet passer, and then put on like bronze, or yeah, I'll put on, put on bronze space and then call it a day. And that'll be my twos badges. My defensive badges, I got Hall of Fame clamps, bronze pogo, bronze inhibitor, silver rim protector, gold chase, gold menace, gold pickpocket. Uh, when I get maxed out, Probably use like silver tireless as well, or you know, something like that. But when I'm on the twos, I actually take off uh, Pogo and Menace, and I put on Hall of Fame Interceptor. I have to take off Inter uh, Inter Intimidator for now, but I put on Hall of Fame Interceptor, and then when I get max uh, defensive badges, I'll put on Bronze Intimidator, Bronze Menace on the twos as well. But yeah, those are my badges. Um, and we're gonna actually show you guys the animations as well uh because i know a lot of you guys be asking about this now my jump shot creator i use the same jump shot that i have on current gen here's the jump shot right quick dante exit base the marcus aldridge release one release rudy or release two rudy gay max speed 55 45 blending now with my gameplay animations um i got like a dunk style i'm gonna show you guys all those dunk packages here's my dribble moves for now this is what i'd be using these dribble moves go crazy Here's my dribble pull-ups, all that. I don't even have a layup package yet because I haven't really upgraded my layup too much. But yeah, let's show you guys the dunks I have. So basically what I did is I just... Basically, you don't really need like all my dunks, but you can't really show all, just a list of the dunks in next gen for some reason. But yeah, buy all the contact dunks for one foot um, and alley-oop and two foot uh, moving dunks. Now with the signature dunks, just make sure you buy Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen is like the most unblockable dunk. That's basically like the best dunk package you can use in next gen because with all the blocks, it's actually like there's a hell of blocks in next gen. So yeah, you definitely want Scotty Pippen dunk package. But anyways, y'all, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. This is the build I be using. Those are the animations I be using. This is the jump shot I be using. The badges I have on right now. And yeah, we're going to be going crazy with this 6-6 six, six ISO build. I can't wait, man. The ones core stage, 1v1 matchmaking. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We get, This is going to be a fun time. I'm still going to be playing current and next gen, hitting legend on both. I'm going to be winning every event on both, streaming both. It's going to be lit. Like I said, make sure to follow my Twitch for more streams. But yeah, make sure to drop. And also, make sure to drop a like on the video if this video helped you out at all. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notice so you don't miss another banger. Anyways, y'all, it's been your boy Henry, a.k.a. Double HDF. I ain't never had no friends, I was all alone She ain't never called my phone, she left me on my own They saying all girls are the same, probably they're my dumb She said, can you stay with me? No, I got a girl Diamond dripping off my deck 
Inspire.